Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the European Nightcrawlers. And let's see what they're doing. Still got quite a bit of springtail action going on here. Lots and lots of springtail action going on here. It's very wet. Kind of moving things around. It's been kind of cool here, Illinois. Um, wow, that's that's crazy. It's a crazy amount of springtails. So it's getting almost too wet. So. I'm going to turn this over and, and I'm going to leave the lid off. Um, clearly too much moisture is not helping the uh, springtail population be reduced. I don't smell any more of the neem cake. I didn't remember to watch the video ahead of schedule so I don't remember if I put neem cake in here or not. But I'm not seeing any food. I'm seeing worms and springtails. Crap ton of springtails. Except for the carrot. Go carrot. It's been in there, I think, it's got to be two months now. If it was in my refrigerator, it would have rotted by now, but for some reason, the, uh, the worms seem to be invigorating the carrot piece. Alright, well, I'm going to get them some food but first, I'm going to get them some neem meal. Okay, so again, I'm going to put about a handful in, but I'm going to completely incorporate this before I put the food in. I'm going to make sure that I get every inch of this bed. Now, I know, I don't know if neem cake is, is good for springtails. I'm just actually hoping that it's good for springtails. I, you know, haven't read any place. Um, I've heard it's good for mites. And I think that springtails are also insects. So I was hoping they would be closely enough related that they would uh, have the same effect on their feeding and reproduction. Okay. Okay, we're back. Had a little fail there. Alright, so put that under there and I'm going to go ahead and make a tunnel here. I still think I have enough bedding in here. I can still see spots of it, so I'm not going to add more at this point, but we are getting close. So I'm going to get them some food. Okay, they're going to get some rice and some powdered eggshell, mostly because I have some. The bedding, I usually make sure that it has enough in there. All right, I was holding my breath when I, breath when I did that, but it kind of fluffed up a little bit too much. So I had <laughs> stand back for a little bit. I try not to breathe in the eggshell. All right, I'm going to move this bin, and then we're going to look at the vertical one. So this is the horizontal one, and we're moving on to the vertical. Okay, here we are on the vertical one. Still seeing absolute tons of springtails. Let's look and see if we've got any food in here. very moist. I'm going to leave the lid off of this as well. It seems that it's getting to the age where it needs to wind down and start drying out, so the lids are going to have to stay off. Alright. Not finding any food in here. 
just to see an avocado pit. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab some neem cake, add it to the mix. Same amount, about a handful, about a quarter of a cup, give or take. Trying to make sure this gets completely mixed up. Some good sized worms in there. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a pit. I'm going to give them some rice. I think that's about equal. Cover that up. Get that avocado pit in there. It usually takes them almost six months to eat one of those avocado pits if I don't uh, cut them up or whatever. So these guys are doing good. Uh, aside from being too wet and having too many springtails in my opinion. I don't know what the worms, how they feel about the springtails, but I'm not a fan. Um, let's see, I also kind of forgot to give them some eggshell. I don't know why that's so dusty today. Alright, so that's it for the European night crawlers today. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.